Oh man. What's going on, YouTube? That was that was That's awesome. God damn, Evan Ingram was fucking fast. Shout out to that boy Ray Ray, man. That shit. You was talking about him. You said he'd be fast. But guy I want to talk about is that boy Bucky Hodges, dog. Bucky, man. And my notes on Six, him seven, in the A&M at just 245, a blocker, solid. Can sustain, I'll take it. Gets I'll take it. End, buries a small defensive end. Makes the cut on the perimeter. Excellent on I mean, he's willing to oh, block. Man. And that's, that's where he's going to make his money. I mean, I know he's going to catch the ball. And that, excuse me, that will help him make the money. But, man, just the competitiveness of the block is going to help him. Gerald Everett. That's great. Now, let's check on his vertex. Yes, slap. sir. Bucky Hodges. Get up there. Thirty-nine. Look at that. Inches is the best of the tight end group this year, and then his broad is the best of the tight end group. Look at ever. that. Wow. Jumping out the Zone building. Two. That's crazy. Wasn't it Julio Jones that went like eleven three, and we were all going nuts? Yeah. Uh, no, I know Byron Jones went over 12, but at the wide receiver mark, I think at it was Julio six, seven, two. You know what I'm saying? Two forty-five, yo. How that was, and here's a tight end going over left. Bucky Hodges, four, five, eight, in his first run. <laughs> Look at that. Four, six, one in his second. That's good stuff. I think that I think that ver that broad jump just shows just the explosion, right? Just that natural burst that he has, and maybe not a top end real fast guy, but again, for what you have to do to play the tight end position, playing sometimes in a confined space, both run game and pass game. Yes. I think those those numbers they definitely correlate to you know a guy who can separate, create separation, compete at the line of scrimmage. You know, those those are those are off the chart numbers. I think you have to look at those kind of players, Greg. Oh, even more like it a Mike Evans uh, OJ. with Benjamin because that's the kind of size they are. They are. You know, Let's I mean, hope he don't do the OJ shit that the old OJ did. That's a big wideout who can still run. Exactly. You know, they, they kind of fit in that category. Yep. Mm. It's awesome. Explosive. Okay. But Let's I can see Denver that. taking him. Thank you. Well, Olsen's got him by less than a half inch and <laughs> three pounds and He's got Olsen unofficially by four one hundredths of a second, but Greg, you you outverted him by OJ by five and a half inches. I'll take it. I'm not <laughs> sure if I can still do it today, but, but I'll take it. That's really good stuff. <laughs> and kettle. I think it's a fair comp. Damn. And the funny thing is Daniel Jeremiah and I independently came up with the same. Might have to do some more research like, on this kid as well, because like if C.J. Fedoras don't you know, pan out, but him and Bucky Hodges would make a, a great two tight end set. Just finished his last year with Alabama. Coached O.J. for those years. He was my tight end coach. Yo, Ray Ray. For two years in, in Miami before he became the He's going to have to improve on this, bro. Some similar, uh, yeah. some similar I, know I know that's your boy. You know what I'm saying? But now, and Joe my boy Hodges, in high school, taller and bigger. <coughs> I think he's gonna have to hit a four five or four six. Yep, there you go. There you go. <coughs> Shit. Sorry about that, y'all. Alright, now that's legit. That's legit. That makes sense from down here at the start line. It looked better. Well, Orndorff again from Pittsburgh. Orndorff. 